Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Lauren Raymond with us. She is an educator, health coach, and founder of Daily Joy, where she coaches moms on breaking joy-crushing patterns to create new patterns to live joyfully with their children. So welcome to the show. Thank you. So great to be here. Thanks for having me. Of course. Grateful to have you here. Um, So let's jump into the first one, Lauren. The first one I have for you is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Well, I have to say when I was 14, my dad was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease and at 18, he died. And as I continue to always look back during those four years of life, I realized that I continue to live one day in the moment and be a kid as much as I could with everything that was going on. But, you know, I still had to kind of grow up mentally as well pretty quickly And it was one of those situations that was just completely out of my control. There was nothing I could do to fix it or change it. And when I look back on it still, it's just such a great piece of information to reflect and think, you know, there are so many things that happen in life that we have no control over. And as hard as it can be, we have to find the best way to get through it and to continue on with life and live our life and take one day at a time. And it's hard to always take one day at a time because especially as we get older, we don't often do that. So that is definitely something that I always go back to. And sometimes it centers me and just kind of gets me back to the pace or the place that I need to be. Um, Thank you for sharing that with us. And uh, the second one I have for you is what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Well, this kind of goes along with that, actually, which I didn't even think about that until you just asked me that question. But it's really that there's joy in every single situation, no no matter how low a situation is or how much we're at rock bottom. We sometimes have to dig. We sometimes have to fight to find it. And it's just important to be in charge and to fight to find it because even though something can be so negative or so heart-wrenching or so low, find the joy because that joy is what can really lift you up and take you out of that situation. And what is your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. I just think keep going for it and don't give up. I think it's super easy to give up if we're not getting the results that we want or it's hard or procrastinate and I would say regardless of what it is that you're doing, just keep going forward and and don't give up. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? To discover your purpose in life early. I, you know, I found mine when I was 43 years old, (laughs) which is still early, but I think that oftentimes we're kind of shaped to go out and get a job and go to college or go to college, get a job. And that's what you do, even though it might be something you like to do or you love to do, but Go find your purpose and your passion and just go for it with um, gusto, believe in yourself and, you know, have that life of what you are completely in love of what you do. And in your opinion, what's the key to happiness? I would say um, really being mindful, being aware of how we react to situations internally and externally. Um, You know, what we do every single day is to how our day shapes. So really making the most of each day. Kids often live one minute at a time. They they do live in a state of joy. And if they get into that place where they're not in joy, they can bounce back pretty quickly. So as adults, we don't often do that. So really just trying to live in the moment, be mindful, be aware, you know, recognize any negative feelings you have 
recognize them, let them go, and then move on and don't dwell in them. And what is the best book that you've read? And what was the number one thing you learned from that? Gosh, there's so many. Um, but the one I'm currently reading, which I love, is called The Book of Joy. And it's written by the Dalai Lama and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And there's just so much that they write about in there that makes sense and coincides with what I'm doing right now to coach moms. And also in the nutrition and health field, which is really interesting that I saw kind of that parallel. And it just, it speaks, you know, as I read it, it speaks everything that I believe in, in what I'm doing and helping people and helping moms live better and happier lives. And uh, what is your favorite quote and why? Well, this quote actually comes from that book right now and it's pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. And it's actually just an old adage. It didn't necessarily come from one of the two authors there, but I love that quote because we're always going to have pain in our life. It's just inevitable. It's going to come. It's just a matter of how we choose to view that pain and what we choose to do with it. So if we want to suffer, we can suffer and it, we are in charge of how long we suffer. So it's really us putting the responsibility in ourselves to on what to do with that pain, how long we're going to suffer and how, and when we're going to let it go and just move on. Thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where is the best place for people to find you online? Uh, well, on Instagram, I'm the Lauren Raymond. And then I have a Facebook page called Lauren's Daily Joy. Um, and then I have those. Those are two of my two main social media accounts right now. I don't have a website up yet. It's in, in process. Got it. Perfect. Thanks again for uh, jumping on. Awesome. Thanks so much, Tyler. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.